Huh? He got off to a good start, yeah, did he? And just, mm -hmm. and just got lost sick. Yeah. Got sick. Okay. Well. Okay. We're talking about frequencies. Frequency. Yes. Point five increased blood flow. Um. I like to divide the frequency spectrum in half. Point. Excuse me. One point zero, up to and including ten, is the chronic side of mm -hmm. the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Ten. And over to 180 is the acute side of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. As you go up, the frequency is increasing, so it captures less data. So let's say that you're treating a large muscle group and you have a chronic issue. With a chronic issue, large muscle group, you would lar use large probes, mm -hmm. and you would start at 0.5, increase the blood flow, because chronic implies constricted. Mm -hmm. And chronic can be defined as two different things. Let, let's, Trudy, I know you're a nurse, but let's just go through this. Chronic means unchangeable and static. Acute means changeable, but it can be static. In other words, you can have no, let's, let's, arthritis. It's a chronic pain, stays in the same situation, but you can have flares. Mm -hmm. So if it's an acute state, then you treat it as acute. In other words, if it's really painful and... They're having a flare-up. It's a flare, then it would be acute. If it was just that kind of achy pain that's consistent and always there, then that would be chronic. Mm -hmm. So if you're treating something like that, you start out with 0.5, minimum of 30 seconds per site. Before you move the probe, you want to make sure that that probe stays stable in that particular area for 30 seconds for full saturation. Then you can move it in half an inch to an inch and do the same thing. So you want to saturate that whole area at 0.5 to make sure that, it's, that it has blood flow. And then for chronic, you would go to 1.0. And depending upon what acuscope you have, the frequencies will be different. Mm -hmm. 1.0, 1.5, very slow waveform, very slow. If you can think of 0.5 as kind of just a really, like almost a flat, flat. waveform, 1.0 maybe just like this, a little bump. 1.5 maybe a higher bump, and so it, it, that's what it talks about, is the amount of time that it goes from one place to another. So in other words, at 0.5 it's half a cycle, okay, mm -hmm. at 1.0 it's one cycle. At 10, we've got 10 cycles. Okay. okay, so that's what it means. That's what the frequency is, is how many cycles per second within that second, how many of those undulations do you have? Mm -hmm. So that's what defines what the frequency is. As the frequency gets, as it is really flat, it can penetrate head to toe in four seconds. Doesn't gather a lot of uh, information quickly so that an acute thing will the event will be gone 500 yeah. times before that waveform gets back but if you're doing something really chronic it will gather all that slow energy get it to the computer and then send it back again mm. so that's if we have 1.5 1 1.0 1 1.5 Two is a magic number. Two and 2.5 really work magically for these large muscle groups that are in ac acute conditions once you've got them loaded. I mean, you have mm -hmm. to get the blood flow in there because the instrument needs to have something to work with. Sure. So once you get that loaded, go quickly through 1.0, 1.5. Concentrate on 2.0. 2.0 is a magic. It, it, it's magic. And by the way, 2.5 for the brain is profound repair. Okay. okay, that is profound repair. I that's what I did when I was down in Jamaica. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So okay, so then as you go up, um, eight is where the brain is most relaxed and comfortable. Ten is where we're balanced with the universe. The, the universe actually goes at ten cycles. And then, let's go back to the other part of the spectrum. Let's go to the really acute and then work down. Let's say you have a toothache. You want to shut off that pain as quickly as possible and using those high frequencies, which are as close, I mean, they're getting pretty close to a tens there where they're just blocking the pain impulse so that the body can grab a response. It can just calm down. And that's what the, really the body wants to do mm -hmm. is it just wants to calm down. So if you use that frequency, 
it will shut off the pain response. And then you can go into repair as the body's not so concerned about uh, you know, managing this crisis situation. Once you have that shut off, then you can start repairing the tissue. At 180, um, that's still very fast. So I go through these high frequencies. Because we have an acute situation, mm -hmm. we have a lot of blood flow, a lot of activity. I don't spend a lot of time there. I mean, I'll shut off the pain response, whatever I need to to get that shut off, I will do. In fact, I'll start at 80, and I'll go up until the pain response shuts off. Okay. When the pain response shuts off, I'll go back down to 80 and then work it down to 10. Because I want to, now that I've got the pain response taken care of, now I want to repair the tissue. And it's still in a crisis state, so I want to catch it where it is. Remember that old thing, meet it where it is? Mm -hmm. So you want to find what <laughs> matches the tissue response and then take it on down. And always want to finish at 10. Whether it's in a chronic state, you want to finish at 10. Whether it's an acute state, you want to finish at 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. That's helpful. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. And remember, the intensity is the push. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just how much tissue do you need to penetrate and how far does it have to go? How far does it have to travel? So if we're doing 0.5, and our old instruments used to be 500, now there's 600 and some mm -hmm. are 5 and da da da. But the old thing used to be if you don't know what to do, 0.5 and 500. That was always the frequency. <laughs> you don't know what to do, 0.5, 500. Everybody <laughs> yeah. repeated that mantra. So at 0.5 and 500, we could push the energy from head to toe. Okay. It will travel and it's slow and it gets there. Mm -hmm. It can go through large muscle masses. It can go through fat. It can go, you know, the large people who have lots of muscle and lots of fat and lots of mass to go through. Mm -hmm. No problem. It can get through. Um, at acute situations, you don't need to penetrate so far. Okay, so let's oh, say yeah. that we have a little tooth issue going on. That's right there. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. don't have to get to there. Mm -hmm. And even if it's a deep pain, let's say it's in the sciatica where you still have muscle mass to go through, that's firing. And the body is real aware that it's mm -hmm. firing and it's going to catch it. So anything around head and neck, you want to use 100 or 200 intensity. Anything that is just general, like arms, that kind of thing, 300 is good. Large muscle mass, 600 and 400. So cool. it, it's just the push. How far do you need it to go? How much mass does it need to go through? Okay. So what about threshold? Okay, threshold is actually about calibrating the instrument. It is about taking all of the excess energy out and matching the instrument to the building that okay. it, or the environment that it's in. So when you, what I always do is I always start it high mm -hmm. and activate it, and when the squeal stops is when you stop, and okay. it's usually around thirty. It's about usually about thirty-five. Okay. Polarity. Polarity and alternating means that the computer is making the choices. Okay. It just means that it's looking at the tissue and it's making the choices. And if you're not really familiar and if you're not comfortable with making the choice, either because the condition is unpredictable or unidentifiable or because you're uninformed, then use alternating because it is the best choice. Sure. Mm -hmm. If you know, for instance, that you have a fibrotic tissue and you know that there's not a lot of ion exchanges going on, then you want to push it to negative. Negative meaning lack of. Mm -hmm. If there's too much, if you have inflammation, you know that there's too much going on there, then you'll have it at, po mm -hmm. at positive, but always end up at alternating, alternating, where the computer can make sure that your, your selections have been appropriate and that they're done. Okay. I had somebody ask me a, a question about gain, and I wasn't feeling real comfortable in answering them, and I know we talked about it one yeah. time, and I wrote it down, but... The gain spectrum is like a camera lens. At zero, 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 you have a wide panoramic view of the situation. Okay. If you have a probe on here, it's taking in the full aspect of what you're measuring. Okay. As you go up on the gain spectrum, it is limiting the amount of tissue being evaluated. Okay. So when we do auricular work, because there are so many points on the ear, we take the gain spectrum up so that it will isolate that tiny, minute, little point okay. that will show us exactly where it wants to be stimulated. Okay. 
So as the gain spectrum goes up, we're getting a finite or a, f a, a more, more specific focused. focus picture. And as we're at zero, 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 we have the full atmosphere. We have the full tissue that we're wanting to be evaluated, included in the aspect. I like that description. Of, that, of like the camera lens, the aperture. That yeah. really, that's really helpful. Thank Thanks. you. Good, good. Um, let me think if there's anything else on the... The electrolyte. Let's talk about the electrolyte because everyone wants to know why our electrolyte. The electrolyte is part of the mathematical equation. Remember, as the probes take in the information from the body, that information is transferred to the computer and it's made into an algorithm. Well, everything that's involved in that circumstance becomes part of that equation. Whether you have lotion on your skin, whether you have rods in your tissue, whether you have funky nail polish on and it's got some preservative, I mean all of that becomes measured and becomes part of the mathematical equation. Our electrolyte solutions were designed to be, a, and I, I, this word I'm going to have trouble with, ameliorator, amel it, it is, nope. um, yeah, it is the conduit, it is what allows for the instrument to look inside the body. So our electrolyte solutions are an exact duplication of our interior body fluids. The only thing different is an anti-resistant that breaks the skin barrier so that it allows for the resistance of the skin to not be a factor and that all of the energy that is available is fully measured without inhibition. Great.